Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gary GZ Duels, here today to play some heroes, this masked hero thing, especially with the new cards, I feel like it's very very strong, actually without Stratos, this deck is still very consistent, so I understand why they banned Stratos. So for example, I can open up with a hero Liz, pay 4000 life points, I know it's a bit costly, but I get into uh, this shadow mist. And then using Shadow Mist effect, I can search for Mass Change. Now, uh, I am careful not to use Mass Change during the turn in which I activated Dark Mist's effect to search for Mass Change, because uh, Dark uh, Shadow Mist's effect can only activate once per turn. I am also going to hold on to this reinforcement of the army, because when I do Mass Change during my opponent's turn, I will be able to search, and then I'll probably uh, work around that using my reinforcement of the army later. So I have back row support, I'm not too afraid of him, I'm going to just let him go. Uh, during his standby phase, I'm going to uh, prompt the activation of my mass change. The reason why I want to do this is because before he does anything, I want to use the effect of uh, Dark Law onto the field. Dark Law's effect, if you guys don't know, is this uh, fusion monster right here. Uh, basically, he has a Macros Cosmos effect. Any card sent to your opponent's graveyard is banished. Not your graveyard, okay? Your graveyard is safe. Your opponent's graveyard is banished, so it's really, really good. So since I used Mass Change, I attributed Shadow Mist during my opponent's turn, I can use Shadow Mist's effect once per turn, of course, during his turn, and I am able to search for Bubble Man. The reason why I wanted Bubble Man is because next turn, if I draw into a hero monster, then you know I can set my reinforcement of the army, and then I can special summon out uh, my Bubble Man by setting my Mass Change as well. But if I don't draw into a hero monster and I want to make a push, I can use reinforcement of the army to search for a hero monster and then go proceed by special summoning Bubble Man. So Bubble Man is one of the most flexible, uh, one of the more flexible uh, cards to search. And uh, it doesn't seem like he can do anything actually because he's playing Mermails and I'm playing uh, this mass hero, basically shutting down his whole deck with like a Macros Cosmos effect. So I really recommend you guys trying this deck out. Um, I had a lot of fun playing this, be especially because it's so anti-meta. Like the Shade Doll archetype sending stuff to the graveyard, you can't do that because I have uh, Dark Law. Uh, your opponent plays Vujins, tries to dump cards into the graveyard, you can't do that because of Dark Law. It's just an overall really good card, and as you will see, he uh, eventually surrenders after uh, a bit of a mental struggle trying to see how he can play around it, but it, there's really not that much that he could do at this point. So um, I hope to play this deck some more. Uh, this is Gary GZ Duels, signing out.